Hi everyone, my name is Anton. I'm a product manager here at MuleSop, and today I'm going to give you a demo on our new Marketer Connector. With the new Marketer Connector, you can connect to Marketer APIs and seamlessly orchestrate processes to popular CRM, ERP, billing, and other applications. The new Marketer Connector is fully REST based and has 100% of API coverage. It also provides data sense support that enables developers to see a metadata structure while designing an application. Let's get into a demo. So uh, in the demo, I'm going to build a simple Mule application that will be triggered through the HTTP connector. Then I'm going to get objects from the Mercator API. And transform those objects into a JSON format. In order to do that, I will first need to go and configure with the HTTP connector. I'll set path to be demo. And in order to configure a Mercator connector, I will need to provide a client ID, client secret, and REST endpoint URL. For the sake of this demo, I already pre-configured a connector. So I'm going to go and select an operation. In my case, I'll get leads by the list ID. And now let's run the application. When the application is deployed, I'm going to go and trigger it through the HTTP call. And as you can see, all the information was retrieved from the Mercator API, and it's nicely represented in a JSON format. Now let's extend this use case and migrate this leads into Salesforce. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for a transform message component and drag and drop it into the flow. And then I'm going to search for a Salesforce connector and add it right after the transform message component. Then I'll need to configure a Salesforce connector. And for the sake of this demo, I already have it configured. And select an operation, which is in my case will be to create. I'll go ahead and search for the object, which is in my case leads. And once it's configured, I'm going to go into the transform message component and do the mapping. I'm going to map first and the last name. company and the email address. When I'm done with the mapping, I'm going to click on save and redeploy the application. And then I'm going to trigger this application through the same HTTP call. As you can see, I got a success message. And if I go to my Salesforce instance and refresh the page, you can see that the lead successfully migrated over. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send them over to info at mealsop.com.